Hey everyone, Lance here. I wanted to make a quick video as now that I've gone from my 2012 Mac Mini, which only has integrated graphics, to the 2017 MacBook Pro, which has integrated and discrete graphics, I wanted to see if it was actually worth it to continue using my eGPU with an RX 480. My MacBook Pro has the Radeon Pro 560, and in my eGPU I have an AMD RX 480. That's in my Akedio Thunder 2, which I've got running through Thunderbolt 2 to a Thunderbolt 3 adapter, which you can see over there. I'm going to be disabling automatic graphics switching and energy saver preferences, so the Mac will only use the high performance GPU. I am running High Sierra by the way, so all of this is plug and play performance, there's no scripts running along with this. So I'm going to do a Final Cut Pro render test. I'm going to disable background rendering and Final Cut preferences. I'm also going to do a Valley Benchmark and Cinebench Benchmarks and see what the scores are versus the eGPU and the internal discrete GPU of the Mac. I should also mention, to get accurate numbers I'm going to be running each test 5 times and averaging those. I haven't done any testing yet so I am going to find out how this performs while I'm doing my benchmarking. So let's get to it and see how it performs. I've ended up doing a lot more benchmarks than I initially thought as the numbers were really interesting. They were quite strange to sort of see. I also threw the Bruce X 5K render test into the mix as I was really interested by the performance drop with the eGPU and Final Cut Pro. There are a couple of things I wanted to mention about my tests that can affect the numbers slightly. You do need an external display connected to the eGPU to get the applications to use the external card over the discrete card. However, scaling to a lower resolution didn't affect the test at all. So I could run it at 3440 by 1440 on the ultra wide or scale it to 1080. It didn't matter. An eGPU will also only use PCI Express 4X speeds where the discrete card will use PCI Express 8X speeds. So you that will have some effect. I am running the High Sierra Developer Beta 6, so things may change with the official release of High Sierra and the implementation of Metal 2. And the big thing I'm sure a lot of people are thinking about is the fact that my eGPU is Thunderbolt 2. So I will be running these tests with a Thunderbolt 3 eGPU. I do have access to a friend's Akedio node. So I'll be doing these same tests with that to compare if there is any difference between Thunderbolt 2 and Thunderbolt 3, so stay tuned, that should also be out soon. And that's about all I wanted to cover in this video guys, I do thank you all a lot for watching, feel free to like and subscribe, I will post links to download the benchmarks I used in the description, and I'll also post links to my Twitter and Instagram, so feel free to follow me there, but hey, I'll see you in the next one.